Welcome back. So I've got a pass of the Chinese satellite XW2B. It is a UHF up, VHF down linear satellite. And these went inactive, uh, man, a couple of years ago, I guess. I, I can't remember exactly. And just recently they became active again. So uh, everybody thinks maybe the battery shorted out finally and created the circuit. So they're running off solar. It is almost sunset here. So uh, the satellite is further to my west, so it still should be in full sunlight. So hopefully we do pretty well. We'll see what happens. Stick around, please like, and subscribe. Yeah, dude, no, that's, uh, that's a hard rider. Roger, roger. Um, yeah, I'm using a broom handle on the, uh, on the, the boom there. Um, it's not great, but I'll tell you what, the antennas work well, and it's way better than the M-squared equipment I had uh, previously that's sitting in my garage. So, again, thank you, thank you, thank you for the uh, support there. Yeah, no problem, man. I think uh, quite a few guys are starting to discover that those X-Quads are a really good antenna. I'm, uh, I'm really glad that whenever I did all the research to put together the station here that I decided to go with them instead of the M-Squared. Um, you know, not that there's necessarily anything wrong with the M-Squared. I love American companies and all that kind of stuff, but the, uh, the, the design of these and the performance and just the size of them and everything is just outstanding. Yeah, no, Roger that, Rob. Hey, here's the thing. Uh, American-made companies that are great are great. Cool. Love it. Um, companies that don't make good products are, you know, they speak for themselves. So, um, had a lot of hard times with the M-squared hardware, and uh, through your tutelage, I was able to figure out how to make the, uh, the Wima stuff work. And, and, dude, I don't even have my final setup here, and it's, uh, it's working quite well. So, again, I appreciate you, bro. Yeah, no problem. Glad I could help out in the slightest way. That's kind of what uh, the whole thing was about there. So, uh, how high do you have that off the ground? It looked like it was maybe about six feet or something. Oh, man. Five and a half to six. <laughs> Nothing impressive. And I'm using a broom handle as the boom. That is awesome. Yeah, it's doing really, really good, man. Uh, of course, this is a good satellite, too. I'm so glad that these woke up and we can actually start using them again. It's, uh, it's pretty cool that these Chinese, Chinese satellites are finally starting to wake up just a little bit, and uh, especially with the double for Yeah, right. Um, the antenna is pointing towards the garage, so it'll probably lose me here. But uh, I want to talk about that preamp. I want to talk about that preamp you offered, uh, you suggested. So, anyway, uh, probably missing you here, but anyway... Uh, Whiskey Zero, Charlie Inky, Charlie, from Alpaca to my pop. I do appreciate the help, bro, and uh, we'll catch you later. 7-3. All right, 7-3, Matthew. I'll catch you on another one here. This is W0CYC in Echo Mike 48. And, uh, yeah, if you need any info on that preempt, just let me know. I sure freaking will. 7-3, Rob. Thanks again. Alpaca to my pop player. 7-3, W0CYC. 
Thank you, satellite. Thank you, satellite. Zero, Bravo, seven, Alpha, Delta, Lima. South Central, Montana. Zero, Bravo, seven, Alpha, Delta, Lima. From Whiskey, Zero, Charlie, Yankee, Charlie, Echo Mike, 48. Yeah, Charlie, Whiskey, uh, uh, Charlie there, KB7 ADL. I'm uh, just uh, checking here on my uh, old radio. I'm not uh, real sure what the satellite uh, up we can download is changing on me, but it's the uh, old satellite. And you've got a really good signal here. Right now I'm uh, not putting in into any trees, so your signal is super strong. Okay, 